Hello, this is Sideburn Scroll coming at you with a review for a late review for um, Arrow, um, the most recent episode, Genesis. And so, in this episode, a lot goes down. We figure out what Dark's final plan for uh, his plan for Genesis is, which uh, basically you figure out Genesis is a uh, plan to destroy the entire world and to uh, rebuild after. And uh, he obtains the nuclear launch codes from Lila, which you figured out at the end. But or the device that controls the nuclear launch codes, and it was a very good episode. Arrow this season's been sort of like some of it's like not very good, some of it's great, and this was definitely one of the high points of this season. Uh, the Diggle versus Andy conflict was really awesome. Uh, Diggle sort of has to make a choice in this episode between uh, his bro his brother and trying to save his brother and his uh, his family, Lila, and his daughter. And uh, he basically goes after Andy on a band like sort of had a vendetta against Andy uh, to try to capture him because he was angry, of course, because Andy betrayed him and Laurel died because of that. And so he. Uh, tried to Andy of course catches him and he implants a tracking device into him and you don't know that until and uh, until uh, Diggle goes back to uh, Diggle goes back to Lila and then they track Lila there and of course Lila has the nuclear launch codes and a chip in her uh, in her uh, implanted in her skin and so uh, that's why Dark was trying to track them uh, Diggle actually ends up having to kill his own brother, which is a great emotional moment. And Diggle's always been a strong element of the show. Uh, some of the other characters, their emotions don't really resonate with the viewer, but I feel like Diggle's does a lot. So that was actually great. The drama was toned down this week a, a ton for progression of the story, which I think makes it really uh, much better because that's one of the problems that's bogged down Arrow for like season. That was why season three was not very good. Just because it was all like drama back and forth and little action. And I feel like the grand scheme of Dark is uh, much better than the grand scheme of uh, Rachel Ghoul was last season. As far as like wanting to destroy the um, planet with uh, nukes, basically. That's actually like, the stakes are higher, you know. More than just him, Oliver, becoming Rachel Ghoul. Uh... So I feel like it's gonna the resolution of this conflict's gonna end in a really explosive and awesome way. So they definitely set it up to be great. Also, the Thea, the the Thea reveal was I, I sort of suspected it coming where she would had been taken to uh, the dome in which uh, Dark made to survive the apocalypse because uh, because uh, Merlin was working with Dark and I, I I'm guessing. We'll figure out next week that the deal was struck with Merlin and Dark to... Merlin would help Dark if he saves Thea. And that was pretty great. I feel like Dark was more front and center this episode, and this episode did better for it. Uh, and, of course, Andy dying was pretty, pretty like... It's pretty brought pretty strong emotions, pretty raw emo emotions to this episode, too. So that was great. The action overall was fantastic this episode. Uh, some of the action in the past in Arrow episodes just looked sort of like fake, especially in this season, uh, compared to like season one and season two with Deathstroke and when Merlin was like insane in season one. And so it's really nice just to see the nitty gritty hand to hand combat and gun combat between Diggle and his brother and uh, Oliver. And of course, Oliver learning the ability to uh, stop Dark's uh, powers was pretty cool. Although, I am a little bit frustrated that Constantine himself didn't teach him that. But I understand why you wouldn't want to spend all the money just to hire Matt Ryan back on. But Matt, I'm a big fan of Constantine and what Matt Ryan did with that show and, of course, the Constantine comics. So that would have been amazing. But uh, it was nice that the connection was still made there. And... Uh, it was cool him having to figure out how to get rid of his past demons because that's sort of been the theme the whole season. So I'd give it about an 8.5 out of 10. I wouldn't give it a 9 because there were some things that were annoying, but an 8.5 out of 10. So I would say definitely watch it. It'll be a great episode and you won't be disappointed. This is Sideburn Scroll signing off with your review for Aerogenesis.